Morning. Good morning, sir. Ready to rock and roll, ready to go to work again, man. This building every shit. I don't know what they're doing now again. Hopefully something good. Hey, you're running this place. Yes, I'm paying for it too. Shit. But cool place. Come out and watch it. So is this the, the new uniform you're making your guys wear? Yeah, well, I knew you was going to be here today, so, you know, I'm just trying to look fresh. So you wore that. <laughs> <laughs> Attire, jib attire. What's up? Good morning, sir. Morning, morning. Slavery's got wrestling class. Usually, um, Coach Jones teaches it, but I think either Robbie Lawler or maybe Dale is going to cover it today, so... Plenty of takedowns, we might go live, um, probably plenty of drills, so we'll get we'll get that working. Get me ready for November. I saw someone tagged you on a, on a video clip that Vader put up with his uh, quick burst warm-up, did you see that? Oh, but the thing is, he doesn't fight like that, it's, and, and you got to think they're drills. So it'd be like me, like, kicking a bag a hundred times, I ain't going to fight like that. So it's, it's all for show. And, and that's, that's the way the business is. You have, to, you have to put something good up for the fans also as well. But um, if he fought like that, he would be a world beater. But he don't fight like that, man. So and if he does, does try that, he's gonna gas out in what, like 30 seconds? <laughs> so yeah. Quick night for you? Sorry? Quick night for oh, you. Oh, quick night, quick night. If he's just gonna shoot like that, uppercuts, knees, whatever, he's gonna run into one of them at least. Or even just sprawl him on his big head. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But I'm looking forward to November 3rd. You know, all this, all this training, it's, you know, building up, building up. So, come fight week, I'm, I'm gonna be raring to go, man. So, you know, the hard work is, is halfway done. It's halfway done, and we're, ne we're nearly there. All right, go warm up. I will, I will. You said Paul Daly too. How much you pay this guy? I am paying nothing, not yet anyway. Bitter chocolate, not hot chocolate, bitter chocolate. Always, always hating. Always hating on another Englishman. Is that a place in London? Birmingham? Birmingham's north. They speak funny in Birmingham. Yeah, but it's still you there, right? Yeah. Oh, well, damn, I thought I was that smart. I'm fucking guessing cities up, getting them right and shit. After about five minutes, all of a sudden you're going to be going into kind of a lighter live where you're just kind of flowing, making the guy work, working on your own stuff. So flow into it, don't go all boss in the wall right away, flow into it, make it work, make your opponent work, and just start playing. Have a little bit of fun, work on your stuff at the same time. All the stuff you guys have been working on, just start working it. What do, you, what do you think the prediction is going to be for, for Lincoln's fight? I think it's going to be a really tough fight. I think that Bader has got more power than most people think he does. Uh, but I think Linton's strong. He's got an awkward style. I think it'll be a hell of a scrap. And Linton's as solid on the ground as Bader is. So I don't know what it is, but it'll be entertaining. The fans are going to win that fight. I don't know who's going to win the fight individually, but the fans will win that co collectively. So like, oh, oh, yeah. I don't get so. Video. It's what we do. Do a few moves, 
have a little chill, little, little yeah, see? Little wet willy, you get me? Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work! <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do here, we bully. We bully the opposition. Yeah. He's the expert on the, in the matter, actually. <laughs> you know Can't let all our secrets out, but that, that pressure game's real, you know. People crumble, just like cookies. Just like Oreo cookies. You think people are underestimating you on this one? Oh, yes, w w without a doubt. I'm, I'm the underdog, as usual. I've been an underdog for pretty much all my fights, I think. The only fight I wasn't an underdog in was um, Sokaju, and that's because he's like 45. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm always always an underdog for both um, the Manny Newton fights. I was underdog. The Liam fight, I was underdog. Um, King Mo, you know. So um, I, I like being an underdog because then when I win, it shuts everyone up. So, you know. and why do you think people like always underestimate you? Even like though like your record is like. I think one. I'm from the UK, and obviously not many people over over here in the states really know me. I'm more bigger on the UK scene. Um, so obviously everyone's gonna be back in there. They're Americans, obviously they're, they're, they're countrymen. Um, and I don't know. Like, I also just think like maybe my style to them. They always want to see knockouts. For me. I, I TKO you or I put that pressure on so I set up the submission or pretty much the referee is going to pull me off. Um, you know, everyone, everyone likes different submissions and, well not different submissions, everyone likes different, you know, styles of fighting and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing people just, just think I'm an underdog but as I said, I like to prove them wrong and um, show them that, you know, I am the strongest there is. Yeah. Well, I think